This episode of Partners Project is brought to you by Lynda.com. Want to know where your favorite YouTube stars go to learn their tricks? Lynda.com has tutorials on shooting, editing, special effects, and more. Go to Lynda.com slash Partners Project for your free seven-day trial right now. What's your overall advice for people out there who are big fans of what you do? My advice is just to, you know, grab a camera and uh, steal a bunch of programs and just start doing it. And go to videocopilot.net, really good site for tutorials and After Effects stuff with tons of free After Effects, like, amazing tutorials that will teach you everything you need to know about special effects, pretty much. Honestly, if you do, like, four or five of these tutorials, you'll have it down. Just start doing it. Um, I mean, and, you know, as a lot of you know, the, the secret to YouTube is basically consistency. And you can have a video of a dog in a sombrero uh, and upload a video with a different dog and a different sombrero every single week. And if you have it consistently... People know what to stable, expect. They know what to expect. They know, hey, I want to see a dog in a sombrero. What channel do I... Oh, the dog in the sombrero So you become, you, you build a niche. Exactly. What's your and, niche? It, well, that's why my channel is not that big. No, <laughs> I, I just hit 100,000. Congrats. And thank you. Um, and it's, it's mainly just because my stuff is all over the place that people can't really grab onto like, hey, like I, I want to just see pranks or I want to just see skits, which, yeah. which is what most channels are like. So another good thing of advice is if you're going to do something, stick with just one thing and your channel will get a lot more successful. As far as like my stuff though, like I have such bad ADD, I can't just do one thing. Like I have to do like something different every single week. Mm -hmm. So I mean, in the end it hurts me a little bit, but it's, I'm having more fun doing it. Creative so, fulfillment. Yeah, exactly. So that consists uh, Videocopod.net for special effects, really good site. Steal programs, it's really easy nowadays. <laughs> no, you do not <laughs> anything he's telling you right now. Yeah, don't listen We're to We're just me. providing a platform for it, yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just talking. I just like, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. And believe in yourself. Mm, that's a good one. That's believe important. in your dreams. And anything's possible. Yeah. And see reality through contact lenses, through yeah. colored contact lenses. Yeah, exactly. Wear colored contact lenses <laughs> and hide your true self. And uh, never be yourself. Just wear, you know, eyeliner and, uh, you know, cut your hair all crazy and, and, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay, um. That is who you are, Mike. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Own it. <laughs> be it. Let's go through the equipment you use, how you edit and everything. Well, I use a flux capacitor a lot in my work uh, to <laughs> go back and forth in the time. A flux? Oh, um, like, where then, do you buy that? Oh, you, you, well, Is it expensive? I actually made it myself. I was actually hanging up a, a bathroom light and then I, I fell and I hit my head and I came up with the idea of the flux capacitor. He's laughing because he's God, a, he, he understands what I'm talking about. My producer here, <laughs> laughing, laugh track will be in the audio, distracting our viewers. Future. He knows what's up. See? No, basically I, I use a, a Canon like 7D, yeah, you know, yeah. regular DSLR camera. I mean, you know, like everybody else on YouTube pretty much. And it's, it's, I think it's, you know, good enough for what we're doing. Like, yeah, um, totally. a lot of people will say, hey, you know, the red is so epic and blah, blah, you have to use the red to get really good image quality. Which is true if you're doing like, you know, a short that's gonna be shown at a festival or something like that. But as far as YouTube goes, like, I, I don't think that it's worth having to deal with the big ass red footage and to having to take like twice as long rendering your stuff. Mm -hmm because the, like, the quality is like, uh, after the compression is like barely any different. So, you know, I, I think that the um, DSLR 70s are good enough to, to answer your question with a really long answer. You're an editing master. <laughs> what are your tips and tricks? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like weird like... You're a zen editing yeah, master. So you are the god of the universe. What is that <laughs> like? No, uh, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm decent at it. Yeah, editing. how did you learn how to edit and everything? I just uh, taught myself. Like, uh, you know, in the end, like people who are thinking about going to school and stuff like that, don't waste your money. I'm serious. Oh. Everybody's thinking about going to film school. Okay. Not not regular school. Go to school. Stay in school, kids. But film school, college, and stuff like that. Seriously, save your money. Nobody gives it about the fact that you came to college in this day and age in this industry. You know, if you show them your college diploma, like it's a joke. Unless and you don't know what you're doing with your unless life. Unless you don't know what you're doing with your life. It's great to. I'm learn. saying for film. I'm just I'm specifically <laughs> saying for film. Yeah. Learn. Stay in school. But. Filmmakers, just go out and just do it, you know, and all the tutorials are online for you to learn how to edit. I I have no formal training. Mm -hmm. I've just learned everything myself. It's really easy. You know, there's so many, just look up editing tutorials on YouTube and there's thousands of them and you can just learn how to do everything yourself. And in the end, what matters is your body of work. So yeah. save your money that you would be spending in film school and pour all that into a short film or a feature and you know it, it'll teach you just as much as film school would teach you to be honest. Do you have a way to get this look that you have which is like super saturated 
Yeah, I like to overlay a lot of gradients on my stuff. That's a good secret too. Um, in After Effects, is basically just taking a gradient layer and uh, overlaying it, like messing with the colors to where they uh, they fit with the scene, and mm -hmm. then overlaying it. I don't. I try not to do it as much anymore, just because like I kind of overdid it, uh, especially with the Animal Crack video and stuff. Yeah, it's a really good trick to make your stuff like pop and look like really obnoxious, mm -hmm. which I like. What about in terms of titles, videos, thumbnails, all that stuff to get it out there to promote it once it's up? The main strategy is you look at it and you say, if I saw this would I click it based off the title? And so I try to make like the most like obnoxious like straight up titles like you know dubstep guns. We were gonna call it something like uh like Drop Squad 5 or something yeah. but then we decided like, like what is that? Uh, exactly like what is that? Like dubstep guns it makes you say what dubstep guns I want to click that and see what's up with that you know so it's a thumbnail with a dog. Yeah, exactly. And have dogs in your thumbnails guys this is a good YouTube pro tip okay tricks of YouTube put a dog in the thumbnail of your video, has to be a cute dog. A cute dog, regardless of if you have a dog in your video or not, <laughs> no. and people will click it. Oh, really? Yeah, don't listen to me, by the way. Maybe all, like, all our thumbnail will be like a dog. Of us it should and just be. Dog. Yeah, it shouldn't be. A, I don't want to be in this. I want the three of us. I was, I was referring to your dog as an us. Yeah. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Lynda.com. Do you want to learn how to be a YouTube pro? We'll go to Lynda.com slash Partners Project for your free seven-day trial right now and learn from the best. See you soon.